just want to say, your girl did so well at the thrift store. Jay, and today I am here with a haul video. I got a total of 10 books that are actually like super popular and two of them I'm like dying at. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> so the first book is the one that I am like by far the most excited about and it is a first edition signed copy of Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I did not even see this book and then my mom pointed it out and was like, oh, isn't that like a book that you've seen around? And I was like, oh my god. So I pulled it out and then I see the signed first edition and I was like, oh my god. And it's like literally perfect condition. Like there is nothing wrong with it. And I'm just like, I'm dead. I, de I was deceased when I saw it. Like I was just like, mm. which leads me to the second book, which I was also deceased when I saw it because like oh my god and that is a court of wings and ruin by Sarah J Mass. I have the first book a court of thorns and roses so now I just need a court of mist and fury is that the second one your girl doesn't know she's a terrible booktuber this book is usually like thirty dollars at chapters your girl got it for $3.99 and it's a hardcover and again there ain't nothing wrong with it. Thank you thrift store gods. I mean like I still need to get the second book so that I can read that one but the point is I got it for $3.99 instead of the $30 it was supposed to be for so your girl ain't complaining. The next one that I have is Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. This is the same author that wrote Girl on the Train which I actually really liked. I honestly don't even really know what it's about other than it's a thriller and I am the self-proclaimed queen of thriller books so I bought it and hopefully I like it but we'll see. The next one I picked up is The Amateurs by Sarah Shepard and I saw a whole bunch of people talking about this book because the second book came out. I figured it was there. Also it's purple. Your girl's favorite color is purple. I'm a sucker for purple so I bought it. Do you see the logic behind my purchases? There is none that is good enough to actually purchase a book, but I keep spending money I don't have because that's the way I am. The next two books are from the same author. She's a problematic author, but I usually like her books, so I'm sorry. I know she's problematic, but she can write an entertaining book. But it is Ugly Love and Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. You know, they were only $2.99 and I was like, buy them. Do it. So I did it. I read It Ends With Us by her, which was one of my favorite books of 2017, so I figured I might as well give it a chance. I liked Slammed and I liked Point of Retreat. I liked It Ends With Us, so hopefully I like those two. I also really liked Hopeless, so I mean I have a good track record with her. I haven't read November 9, which is the book that everybody seems to hate, so maybe that's why? I don't know, but figured. I'd give her a chance anyways. The next three books are ARCs and I know you're not supposed to buy ARCs because it's illegal but like they were there and I was like I need them. The first one is Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy and I've just heard that the bi representation in this book is incredible and that it's like really really good so I was like need so I got. The next is A World Without You by Beth Revis and this is one that was like super popular in like 2016. Yeah, 2016 when it came out and I always wanted to pick it up because it's like a mental health thing and yo girl obsessed with mental health so I finally am going to read it even though it's an arc and you're not supposed to do that. Yo girl doing it. And then the final arc that I picked up is Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven and I've seen this book around a million times. I read All the Bright Places and I really liked it so I was like, need. So I got. The final book was because I needed five books in order to get like the fifth one free. So I saw this one and I was like, oh I've seen this around booktube so might as well pick it up. And it is what I thought was true by Huntley Fitzpatrick. All I know is it's a contemporary book it's, and purple, so we good. Alright guys, so that was my haul for today. I think I did pretty well. Just saying. 
super excited about Nevernight. Gonna read that very soon. Let me know down below what you thought of these books because I know you all have read them because they're super popular. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!